Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be doing a fall cage tour. Um, I'm only doing one because I tried to decorate my other cage, but it just didn't turn out how I liked it. There is some fall stuff in it. Maybe I'll make a short, but it's not like as fallish as this one turned out, and I really like the way this one turned out. So let's just start with the front. As you can see, we have some little strung leaves. Um, I made this. It's like a little garland that I made from supplies from the Dollar Tree. Also, if you look carefully, I do have some of these uh, little gel window decorations. So we have an acorn, two leaves, a little coffee mug, which I think is my favorite, a little pumpkin, and over here we have one that says Hello Autumn, and it's like a sweater. It's so cute. And now let's get to the interior. So when you open up my cage, you can see there's this little uh, toy that I made. It's not super polished, but it is kind of woodsy. It's a like K tea kebab but I put my own toys in there um, ones that were a little bit more natural and safe so to the right of the cage we have his multi-chamber hideout and on top of his multi-chamber hideout we have this little pumpkin that has some seagrass mat under it we have this little leaf which has his um, non-toxic children's play sand in it from tractor supply and this is just it's a little bit small for him but it's so cute um, and I'm gonna be getting him a bigger one once fall ends. He has these little like steps up to his cage. He is burrowed under them, so it's made a little bit, it's come up undone a little bit, but it's really cute. And to the side of that, we have this pumpkin mug right here and a little DIY toy that he has devoured. Then we have this little KT apple chew toy. He really likes this one. Then if we move just a little bit this way, we have some mushrooms and some shredded napkin. Uh, for nesting. He has this little substrate dish. It has corn cob bedding in it and it's just for digging in. Over here he has another substrate. It's eco earth. Um, it's a little bit messy but he has these little leaves and it was a little bowl from the Dollar Tree and I thought it was really cute and festive. Then just to the left of that bowl we have his orange 12 inch silent spinner. Um, it's not, this is just his normal wheel. He has it all season, but it is orange, so yes. Right uh, to the side of the wheel, we have his little strawberry hideout, which is in there all year round. He loves this thing. And then we have his little mushroom, and it's so cute. His water bowl. I like to use bowls instead of bottles just because it's more natural for them to use, and it just seems easier, and they can get a lot more water out of it than they can bottles. Then we have another mushroom and a little toy. It's like a wicker ball toy and he really likes that. I put treats in it sometimes. And then we have a little wood slit right here and it's cute and fallish, I think, kind of. I don't know, it could be kind of woodsy. He also has this cork log. He has this in all year round again. Another little pumpkin and you can't really tell but there is seagrass under this pumpkin. Some organic apple branches. And then here's some platforms are that I made. This is a wood one and this is a cork one and it has some stilts on it and he likes climbing on these. There's also a DIY toy that I made. I also made a video showing how to make this one and some of the other ones that may that you may have seen in my other videos and this one. So go check that out. I'll leave it in the i in the i card and also the description if you want to look at it. So yeah guys, that was the cage tour. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like, comment and subscribe. Um, we're trying to make it to 500 subscribers. We recently hit 400. Um, if you're the 400th subscriber, come out and say so. Um, I said I would give a shout out to whoever is the 400th subscriber. Uh, I will be doing the same for 500 and also have a special video. So if you'd like to participate in the video or help decide what it is, then please let me know so I can start, so we can just start making that video and getting ideas. Um, please tell me if you're the 400th subscriber and share my channel so we can make it to 500 even quicker. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!